Hi all, it's Andy from Solar Reviews again and this video I wanted to make is what are the alternatives to say Tesla Powerwall and some of the other mainstream home energy solutions you're seeing from companies like Sunrun and Enphase uh, and the like. Here I am, I'm on a farm and you know I have a ground mount solar array and so the rapid shutdown rules don't apply um, where I live. So what it allows you to do is look at some other solutions. So with the Powerwall and you know the other ones, the Evervolt from Panasonic, you know the Enphaser solution, the Solar Edge uh, home energy battery solution, those solutions are all now these beautifully packaged batteries with a battery inverter and an app, a web app, all in one package, mainly designed to retrofit onto existing solar systems. You know, what you used to do when you wanted to make an off-grid solution or have battery backup is you used to buy batteries separately and then a battery inverter. So what I have here, I have a couple of generations of my original um, off-grid solutions here on my farm. And so if we, uh, Tyler, if we can pan over here uh, to my left, what you see here is um, I had the wonderfully bright idea that I might try um, bringing in some Chinese lead acid batteries um, because cost has always been an issue with you know home energy storage solutions and so um, I had this idea that I'd bring in some from this company bad decision as you can see they've become um, you know, sitting in the corner here, like waiting to be recycled. Um, you know, I, I decided not to use them. But initially I used these, and what you did in the old days, when you had lead acid batteries, you had a different inverter. And I think I had, from memory, I had a SunPro inverter, which is actually an Australian inverter company um, that makes off-grid battery inverters. But um, skip forward to another generation, um, what I did is I went to BYD batteries. Now BYD is a Chinese lithium ion battery manufacturer, but you might think shock horror, why would you buy these things? Um, BYD make most of the lithium batteries used in the world in aeroplanes. And so, you know, I've had these for a few. So each one of these battery cabinets, I think has about 12 kilowatts of battery storage in it. Um, I haven't opened these for a while, so there's a few. Um, so they have basically the battery cells. So in there, there'd be a whole heap of little lithium ion battery cells um, and a battery management system. But this is sort of still like an old school solution because you don't have the battery inverter there. So what I have up in the paddock, you know, I have a ground mount array. I have a couple of Fronius string inverters, which if it wasn't for the ra rapid shutdown rules, in America for residential properties, I would always use string inverters unless there's a lot of shade. But if there's no shading on a site, I'd always use string inverters. I just prefer to have less electronics on a job if I can. Um, and so we basically have the DC power coming down from the panels being converted to AC power here and then basically being fed into these uh, Victron battery inverters. And so um, what these are doing is these are handling all the interface between the solar which is coming through and being converted to AC he here and then being fed in here between the grid and the loads in my house. So you'll see uh, the circuit board up here um, and um, you'll see the monitoring up here. Like, a, Although, you know, um, Victron I think are a little Dutch company, um, but they're a really cool company like they're the type of company where um, like the owner of the company actually mans the support line and knows all about his product like so um, it's really cool so and these have been working for a couple of years now really really well um, they're probably not as sexy as you know the new you know all-in-one home energy solutions where you know Tesla put it in a nicer looking box and a, and a gateway box which does a lot of what this thing does so um, but basically once you go yeah once you go off grid you know you you have and once you're not in a residential situation where you're constrained by the rapid shutdown laws you do have some options that aren't widely known uh in america 
because the options have tend to be built around retrofitting a, a residential systems. So one of the things um, my installation company does quite a lot is we sell these BYD batteries with, this is a Fronius Simo, so this is a, a Grid Connect string inverter, but Fronius make a all-in-one battery uh, inverter where you can DC connect um, to the inverter and your batteries and run a, an off-grid system or even a hybrid system. So they do run on grid as well. Um, so particularly if you're looking at a bigger battery solution and particularly if you're looking in a rural or re area where you know a ground mount uh, is an option and so you can use something different. I don't know off the top of my head whether something like the Fronius hybrid inverter actually can work with say Enphase or Solar Edge, um, Solar Edge power optimizers or Enphase um, micro inverters. I, I don't know. I'd have to find out. But I just wanted to quickly make this little weird video that you know although the industry is going to these neatly packaged solutions the electronics which sits behind them you know used to look like this and really it's just putting all this in a neater package really so um, and I just wanted to particularly make the point that there are other options particularly if you're looking at you know bigger rural regional you know dairies things like that um, comm you know, small commercial scale battery installations. There are other options than just your stock standard sort of power wall and you know, uh, power cell from Generac and things like that. So uh, that's all for now. If this video has been in any way interesting, please like and subscribe. If you want to find out how much batteries um, you need and what size solar system you need, how much it will cost, how much it should save you. There's a really accurate solar sizing cost and savings estimator. Just go to solarreviews.com slash solar dash calculator. Uh, I'll start putting the link to that calculator. We're super proud of that calculator. It's as good as commercial estimating software. It, or, you know, it's pretty close to that sort of level. You know, handles every climatic zone in the country, every utility rate tariff pretty much in the country. Um, so it's really accurate. So we're really proud of it. We spent lots of years developing it. So jump on that and you know, you'll be able to find out everything you need to know about solar before you even decide if you want to talk to a local solar company. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe and check out our other content.